This was my first electric guitar. I got it in the mid 80s. Adjusted for inflation, it cost about the same as this Novo Ghost Sonic from Enya Music. This was a very budget friendly, no frills Gibson guitar. And this is a carbon fiber build with Bluetooth and a built-in speaker. Technology has really bent the definition of what a musical instrument is. Digital innovation has smashed the boundaries of possibility. But for a purist, if that's how you can define me, should this be considered a real guitar? I'm Dan, the self-proclaimed Lonely Rocker. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're into guitars, related gear, and hearing how it sounds when we record it, well, perhaps you've come to the right place. Anyways, today I'm taking a look at the Novo Go Sonic from Enya Music. Now, first up, Enya Music has sponsored this video, so thanks so much to Enya. And second of all, I just want to talk about why this guitar is here in the first place. Now, Enya reached out to me, they discovered my channel, sent me an email and asked if I would be interested in reviewing this guitar. Now, my first instinct was, uh, not so sure, because typically, I feature products that I find value using here in my studio, and certainly if I think there's value for you, the viewer. So thinking a carbon fiber guitar with a Bluetooth and a speaker, is that something that I generally would use here in my studio? But they were very, very persistent and they wanted me to try it. So with no obligation, they sent me this guitar, understanding that if it just didn't fit, I wasn't gonna do a video about it. Well, funny thing happened. I got the guitar and for reasons I'm gonna explain in this video, I really like it. So why don't we dive into the features of this guitar and then I'll discuss why I like this guitar and who I think it might be for. The Nova Go Sonic is a full-size smart guitar with a carbon fiber body, neck, and fretboard, and it has a 24 and 3 quarter inch scale. The neck has an asymmetrical profile and the fretboard has a 16 inch radius. The frets are a nicely polished nickel with very smooth ends and it has a zero fret design. The built-in 10 watt speaker and onboard amp tones and effects means you can easily take this guitar anywhere. The built-in Bluetooth connects you to an app that offers deeper editing and preset management, among other features. The main knob powers on the guitar and lets you cycle through four different presets. The toggle switch lets you toggle between the two humbucker pickups, and the push-pull volume knob lets you switch the pickup configuration from series to parallel, almost like a coil split effect. Speaking of the pickups, they have El Nico 2 and El Nico 5 magnets. The contours at the heel position offer easy access to the high frets, and the smooth finish on the neck makes it very comfortable to play. It has Enya branded non-locking tuners, a tunematic style bridge, and a spoke wheel truss adjustment where the neck meets the body for easy access. It also has a string through body design. The guitar is charged with the provided USB adapter plugged into the USB port at the base of the guitar. Here you will find a quarter inch jack that feeds the internal sounds of the guitar when it is powered on, and it acts as a standard guitar when turned off if you want to plug it into an amp. And there's also a headphone jack for silent playing. Part of the experience of the Novo Go Sonic guitar is the companion app. Now inside the app, we can get into deeper editing and customize our presets. Let's check that out. The Bluetooth on this guitar works amazingly well. With the guitar on and in range, you simply open the app, select your guitar model and connect. Seamless connectivity. In the guitar tone section of the app, you have banks for the four main presets on the guitar that are color coordinated to match the illuminated ring on the guitar. 
You can change the preset in each section by entering the library and choosing any of the available presets. And if you click Edit, you can customize the presets by choosing different amps and pedals and configuring each component of your signal chain. And what's amazing is the guitar responds in real time. The tool section of the app offers useful utilities like a metronome, tuner, and a drum machine. And there's a very handy chord section with a library of basic chords, a handy chord finder, and a chord dictionary. And there's also a handy mixer that lets you adjust the levels of the different output sources. And available separately are these really cool magnetic straps. They snap right in and are super secure. I think a question a lot of people would want to ask me is if I would consider replacing one of my standard guitars with something like this. And to be honest, I think I would look a little foolish trying to make that case. But the best way I can describe my experience with this guitar is it just sits in a completely different category. You know, there's a lot of very cool products in the last number of years, companies are getting very innovative and just trying different things instead of tried and true. It's definitely something different and it's been a lot of fun. Now, it's a really cool product, and it's a very well-made product. A lot of creativity and engineering has gone into making this guitar. You know, I'm not gonna start tracking it here in my studio. That's not gonna happen, but I have been using this guitar a lot. You know, sitting on the couch, practicing. You know, you can plug in your headphones and just immerse yourself in all these cool sounds and tones. It's a lot of fun than just sitting with an electric guitar that's not plugged in. It's certainly very convenient, and everything just works. The Bluetooth connectivity has been rock solid. And even adjusting this guitar, you know, the standard tunematic bridge with height adjustment and the truss rod adjustment, I was able to get the playability of this guitar kind of the way I like it without too much effort. I've tried that on budget guitars and practice guitars and it just doesn't seem to work right. It just works really, really well. Pickups sound great. Even this magnetic strap, a lot of thought has gone into creating this guitar. It's just a really, really cool product. Now, as something that could be a starter guitar, perhaps, I think back to my 14-year-old mind when I got my first guitar, it was a budget Gibson guitar, it had no frills, I didn't have an amp, I didn't have pedals, and I wonder how my young brain would have reacted if I had all of these sounds available to me. I knew nothing. When I got that guitar, I had no idea. It took me a few months before I got my first amp and then my first pedal, and it was a chorus pedal. I had a long way to go to really experience different sounds. And as a young player, getting to hear all these different sounds and maybe understand better how it all comes together, I think it would have educated me a lot quicker and would have helped me decide what my next move would have been in terms of a guitar and amp effects and things like that. Anyways, kudos to Enya for coming up with something really interesting like this. I mean, really a lot of uses. I think this would make a great travel guitar. I mean, sit around the campfire. Who needs an acoustic guitar? You can have electric guitar and you don't even need a battery powered amplifier. A lot of different uses for this guitar. Anyways, if you want any more information about this guitar, I highly recommend you do your own research. I've given you my experience here, but I always recommend you check things out for yourself. 
What's good for me might not be good for you, but definitely worth looking into it at the very least. So that link is in the description. If you have any thoughts, any questions at all, that's what the comment section is for. And while you're down there, well, speaking one of my standard guitars, the Schecter C1 SLS Elite, did the honeymoon end too early? Well, I did a whole video about that and it's waiting for you right here if you wanna check it out. And remember, you don't need a band to rock and roll and I'll catch you in the next one.